okay now that we've got a few things you know let's put it to practice let's practice and see how it goes see if we really got you know what we learned so far okay here we have a problem you know v uh, equals 5 open parenthesis uh, x minus y divided by z close parenthesis plus w okay first we need to do the operations in parenthesis and we're gonna start with uh, you know by finding the values of x and y so x is 15 and y uh, is 3 so what we're gonna do we're gonna do 15 minus 3 equals 12 so we're gonna put 12 in there okay and then we divide you know uh, 12 that's minus 15 uh, x minus y that's 12 we're gonna divide it by z and z is 4 so it's 12 divided by 4 and that equals 3 and now that we got rid of the parentheses and that we find the 3 we're gonna you know multiply that 3 that we just found to 5 to the 5 so 5 times 3 equals 15 so now we're gonna add the 15 that we got plus W and we know that W equals 10 so it's 5 it's 15 plus 10 which is 25 so V equals 25 so we just solved our first exercise it was really fun huh you know no knots <laughs> now let's do another exercise uh, about the relationship between negative and positive uh, you know, quantities in multiplication and division. Okay, here we have minus 3 times minus 5. The result is 15 because uh, minus 3 and minus 5 are two negative numbers and the, you know, the result is positive, so 15. We can see th it's the same relationship here um, between the, you know, the the negative and the d between the two negative numbers in division as well the the result is you know positive and now let's do uh, another example but with a positive number and a negative number as you can see we have 2 times minus 4 equals minus 8 and we got the same relationship in division as well okay uh, now let's put together all that we've learned so far like uh, you know the order of operations and the relationship uh, between negative and positive numbers in multiplication and division into one single exercise so we're gonna solve this and then we're gonna go on okay we have the following problem we have w equals xy divided by x plus y and since x equals 5 and y equals minus 6 xy equals 5 times minus 6 so since 5 times 6 equals 30 and we have a positive and a negative number the result is negative so minus 30 so now let's do the next operation we have x plus y since x equals 5 and y equals minus 6 we have you know 5 plus you know minus 6 so we're gonna turn the positive symbol and the negative symbol you know in since the result is between them it's minus it's a negative symbol so we have 5 minus 6 so 5 minus 6 equ equals 1 but since uh, we have a positive and a negative it, it's gonna be minus 1 so hence at this point W equals minus 30 divided by minus 1 and since 30 divided by minus 1 equals 30 and minus 30 and minus 1 are negative numbers so the result is gonna be positive so we're gonna have 30 you know as the n positive result okay we're done with those exercises for what we've learned so far and we 
you know starting to to see how it is how easy it is to solve an equation actually in the next installment you know I'll show you I'll tell you what an equation is for example an equation it's a statement of equality whatever is on the left hand side of any equation is equal to whatever is on the right hand side you know this is just a start we're gonna hit relativity and quantum mechanics with this so stay tuned